Alright, welcome everybody to another episode of Fallout 4. So I have gone back to Sanctuary Hills, repaired power armor, um, equipped some vault tech paint. So it's got that sort of like bluish, yellowish sheen to it. So I need to get to Lexington. Wait, no, I need to get to Walden Pond and then work my way over to um, wherever Deacon wants to meet me. So this is the first, like, um, major quest for the railroad. So I'm just really going to see what they want me to do. I can't quite, like I said, most of this game I can't quite remember. Um, so yeah, just take it as it goes. I suppose that's the best thing about uh, playing a game you haven't played in a long while. You're not going to remember a lot of it. Especially a... Bethesda game. Like this, or Skyrim. Because I want, I want to replay Skyrim with commentary as well. But I know I'm not going to remember most of it, so... Okay, this is rather creepy. I can see lights in the distance all around me, but and, you know, I'm just like, are they friendly? Are they raiders? Super mutants? What's going on? Like, it's friendly enough for that caravan to go past, so I assume it's not too bad. Alright, it was Deacon. Ah, oh, there he is. You've changed. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. Okay, I'm changing that gun. Because that gun does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, out of curiosity though, what is the damage for that rifle? 10. Ah, uh, yeah. 45. So yeah, there's a stark sort of difference. Then again, that only does 25, and that does a hell of a lot more damage. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Oh, 
That's not much of a secret sign, though, is it? Big arrow pointing to where you are. Well, not a big arrow, but an arrow nonetheless. Ooh, there's been some action here. Well, that guy's been having a good old shooting time, hasn't he? Come on, Deacon, don't stop. This individual is busy. It's like, yeah, but he's just standing there, looking around. I've already scouted the area by the time he got there. Okay, maybe I didn't scout that one. Onward! Oh god. Did I hear a... Yep, there's a few in there. Okay, Deacon, let's get going. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, a tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Okay. Hi. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat? Huh? Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. About goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Are you in danger? I signed on for light recon. But that little slocum's jaw of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome sin sons of bitches. <sighs> if I haven't been made yet, I'll be spotted when I leave here. A goddamn trap. Fronts fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Not much else I need, I think. I mean, I'm a bloody suit of power armor. Ah, it's that place. It was not the place I shot up earlier. I think it's filled with, was filled with raiders, and then I went through it. So where is this Slocum Joe's? So, yeah, the the Institute headquarters, or recent headquarters, was right next to a big raider hideout. Or stronghold, rather. Yeah, that's good, uh, that's good positioning, isn't it? Hey there. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth... Why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talky talk and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. Why would Ricky lie? People always got reasons to lie. The Institute could have turned him. 
Or more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? <laughs> what? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously though? Thank God for that tunnel. If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. Tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. All right. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Just dived off the bridge. I can see why people kept saying, uh, like, not long after the game came out, there were plenty of reports, like, plenty of, like, articles or whatever on game gaming websites saying that it's recommended. But be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The Railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the Railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, <sighs> fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Ready to go. First step is to override the security lockdown. All right, where was I? Yeah, so there's a lot of articles um, talking about how it's recommended to play the entire game in a power, suit of power armor because that allows you, gives you extra protection, allows you to carry more, I believe. So there's no real, like, well, drawbacks to it. At least. I'm going to feed it some passwords. No. 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 Ah, missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, the only major drawback to this. To this uh, strategy is that it does eat up your fusion cores, so. I think I got enough for now. But I'm probably going to have to dump this power armor suit at some point. Hello. Wah! What the hell? That literally scared the crap out of me. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of expecting the... the, the the droid, I wasn't expecting that rad roach to jump at me. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before. Look around. Uh -huh. Then you start dismantling some of the guns I got.
And I suppose it does make you feel like a bit of a badass. <laughs> you could just tear through all types of enemies wearing a uh, power armor. A bit of power armor. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah, these guys really did run through all the defences and stuff, didn't they? I think everyone's dead, obviously, but all the uh, turrets are destroyed as well. There's no bodies, though, of um, Institute synths. Don't know what that's about. I, I don't think the Institute like, ran through here without taking heavy losses. Unless they had a couple of courses running point. Uh, here we go, let's try. Don't know how this is gonna go. Um, ah, alright, there was no hacking involved. Cool. Wouldn't it be annoying if we fought our way here and I couldn't get through the gate? Wouldn't that be a bitch? Hey, yeah, what am I doing? I got, uh, I got Nick with me. Nicky boy, where are you? And... Oh, take a look at the thingy. I recommend against ah. Wait there. I'll stay put. Come on. Am I getting shot at? Or is that Deacon shooting at them? I think it might be Deacon. Alright, I'm taking cover. Right up until the door opens and I'm back in the firing line again. How come our not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it? We're entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab, a place that never officially existed. It's called the switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. Oh. Yeah, I'll come out of the three of us. Out of my little attack squad here. I got Nick Valentine, who's in fairness a synth and pretty strong. He's only equipped with a revolver. I got this guy, who's only equipped with a hunting rifle. And there's me, in a full piece of body armor, like power armor. Full body power armor suit. With a laser rifle. I feel like out of everyone, I'm the only one who took this seriously. 
It's like, yeah, we have to fight through a shit ton of synths. And everyone's like, yeah, fine. I'll just take my squirt gun. Like my water pistol. Um, no, where's the super secret thing? Security's too tight. No, wait, they can disarm these, can't they? Yeah. Is someone present? Okay, oh, bulk up. Seven, but eh, still good. Uh huh. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? God damn it, Deacon. Where are you? Hey. Ah, the switchboard. A lot of memories here. I didn't think I'd ever see this place again. Good luck, Nick. It's okay, Nikki, you did your best. Uh, right, so this way leads somewhere. Okay, of course, there's a big door here. Wouldn't I do that before instead of roaming around? Just ignored the massive door. Yeah, great. I must have a lot of institute like rifles and pistols and whatnot. If it's gotten to the point I can't carry any more. Um Okay, they, they can have that, that one. Excited. 
Ooh, excited institute pistol. What does that mean? Excited institute pistol. I wonder what excites a gun. Uh. Oh, there we go, I've got 17 of them. My god, that's a lot. Uh, okay, store. I'll put- I'll give him 10. And then I'll take him back later. The hazmat suit can also come in pretty handy for the glowing sea. Another weapon like it. Ah, silencer. Nice. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. Cool. So this is it, is it? Nope, that's not it. That's it. Perfect. That weird thingy. I don't know what that is. Some kind of satellite dish on the top there. I don't know. I always got to laugh like when seeing how like mini nukes are stored in this game, just on the shelf. It's like you know, if that thing folds and goes off, that's well, this complex gone well, for starters. Exit. Ooh, what's this one? Ah, jang jangles the moon monkey. Isn't in this game, it's not the last one, it is this one, isn't it? Where you got like those monkey things. Like those little monkey toys, like you go up to them and it's fine one minute. Yeah, we're getting them, Nick, don't worry. Still searching for them. Just let me know when you manage to get your hands on them. Yeah, it's like little monkey little toy monkeys and you go up to them and they start like having those little like disc things, you sort of buy they hit together. And um they start going up then. Whoa! Ah. That was cool. Alright, I better put a stim pack on. Like. Turrets on outside. I'm assuming the turrets are on outside. No way of knowing for sure the, the, from down here, but we'll soon see. Nope, nope. 
Wow. Yeah, those turrets were not on our side. We made it. We left like very, uh... Heads up. It was like one. one of the more yeah, direct exits I've ever done. Just shot our way through. Like from the from the front of it, you couldn't quite tell, you know, anyone was in there. And then now we just like fires everywhere and burning wreckage. And I'm just like walking out going, yep, that went well. Alright, let's get back to Desdemona. Where is Desdemona? Oh god, I can't tell. It was easier when it was all green. And power attacks may cripple your opponent. Okay, that's good. Don't really focus on melee combat, though. Not really interested in it. I'm always one to go for plasma rifles or, like, energy or, like, laser rifles or anything like that. Or in this game, I kind of like the, the Institute rifle, but it's really bulky. That's the only thing I don't like about it. It's huge. Like, it takes up a lot of the screen when you're using it. But no, the more when I get plasma... I'll be using that one. I do like the plasma rifles. Okay, where am I? Cool. Yeah, next up as well. In the next episode. I'm... Because I'm pretty much... I'm, I'm sort of, you know... In now with the, the railroad. So I'm either going to carry on doing more railroad quests or I'm going to do I'm going to take the castle for the Minutemen not quite sure yet I'll see what happens now when I go and see Desdemona chances are they'll give me another quest and I'll just carry on doing that until I sort of I've run the course with the, the railroad but uh, yeah because I, I might get some good stuff you never know Blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred? I, I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. <laughs> I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. 
Um, Charmer? But I'm kind of a Marvel. Well, I'm a big Marvel fan, so let's go with Bullseye. Call me Bullseye. Well, from what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our... I'm feeling overdue for some reconstructive surgery. So be surgery. careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Um, nearly leveled up. Cool. Now I've uh, unlocked the actual fast travel route now to this place, so that's nice. I can't get through the door though. There you go. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. Take its precautions and not be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. This is Bullseye. He did the switchboard op with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. All right. Testimonial told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. But that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. Would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. What's a dead drop? Never read a spy novel, huh? Oh, dear Lord. A dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. Just don't bollocks it up too badly. If things go wrong, I'm the one who has to patch everyone back together. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Welcome to the Bunker bed. Hill. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick. Let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Yeah, I'm up for that. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Huh. Deacon. You two taking care of some official business? Mr. Valentine, you flatter me. Yeah, I think I'll send him to Sanctuary. I'll travel with Deacon for a bit, why not? Alright, so that's pretty much it for hey, me now. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalkboard. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. In the next one, I guess I'm going to be carrying on with uh, that quest that whatever his name was, give me the doctor. Going to go and see that synth, or Carlington, or something like that. What's his name? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll be doing that in the next episode. So you got that to look forward to. 
Uh, if you could leave a like, hit that comment section below. And maybe, just maybe, if you're feeling up to it, hit that subscribe button. It'll be very much appreciated. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until next time, you take care.